Okay, so I'm going to try and make this short and sweet. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's been two hours, Jonathan. So here's the deal. So I did a video called Satan's Supernatural Locust Army Rising Mystery Solved. All glory to the Lord God. Um, I showed you right here. You see the Vatican? That's a big snake. I love you in Christ. If you don't see it, I'm sorry. Uh, there's some people that, you know, during this video made some really crazy comments. And yikes, watch out. Because I've warned people, this is really crazy stuff. Don't do it. Um, when you do this, you are doing the work of Satan and not the work of God. Do you know what you just did? If you're attributing the supernatural knowledge that I have to Satan, you did the only unforgivable sin. So, if the knowledge I have is from the Lord God via the Holy Spirit that lives inside of me, you just condemn yourself to hell. That's pretty stupid. If you don't like what I'm showing people, you might want to turn the channel. Because there's an old Chinese proverb and it goes something like this. It says, sometimes it's better to let the whole world think you're a fool. Rather than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. It's one of the stupidest things in the world. If I'm showing you the obviousness that... The entire Vatican is a big serpent. There it is, serpent wearing a crown. There it is from the other side. The sidewalk's a snake. I mean, the sidewalk's a split tongue. The whole damn thing's a snake. And you just attributed that power to Satan. Then you just committed the only unforgivable sin. So, for anyone else that's watching these videos, don't be an idiot. If you don't like the stuff, turn the channel. You know, at least give yourself a chance. That person just slammed the door in their face and took someone with them because someone else jumped in on it. But I guess that's what you were predestined for. So God have mercy on you. And I mean that. I don't take any pleasure in it. It sucks. As a matter of fact, I used to cry about it. I used to not want to do my job for the Lord because I'm like, man, so many people are, you know, committing this blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. It used to really bum me out. Now I'm just like, man, how stupid can you be? Okay, well, anyway, so let me show you something. <clears throat> let me show you what's up. That is an image of a dead sheep with its tongue sticking out, okay? There's the eye of the sheep, the eye of the sheep, nostril, nostril, line in the lip, tongue sticking out, top of the head to the ear, down to the other ear. Okay, and when you turn it right side up, it's the virgin. Okay, let me show you guys Esword. Okay, you ready? Okay, here's some supernatural knowledge. I told everybody the night I got saved, uh, when I came down that fire escape, there was someone waiting for me. It was an angel. His name is Michael. He walked up and he said, pray with me, my brother. It's on YouTube. And then I came alongside of him and we prayed our father and I got saved. I was anointed water and light came down on me and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. And I was called at that point to be a witness against the enemy and the enemy. Let me show you who the enemy is. I'm going to show you real quick. Watch this right here. See the, see the serpent, the serpent's the enemy right there. And you know who this whole serpent church worships? The virgin. Okay, and that is the rival of God. Mother goddess worship is the rival of the Lord God. So let me show you something. And at that time, what time? The end of the world. Shall Michael, see right there, Michael? Okay, it means who is like God? Michael, the name of an arch archangel. There he is. Michael shall stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was 
since there was a nation, even unto that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that is found written in the book of life. Okay, so now, here we go. There shall be a time of trouble. I want you to look. I'm going to show you a picture. You see the virgin? There's, you know, the big church that's in the shape of a snake? The snake church worships the virgin because that started the above ground host body system in order to capture God's angels to turn them into food for a race of locusts that are coming out of the pit. I showed it repetitively. Now get ready. Let's go. Let's do it. At that time, there shall be a time of trouble. You know, the great tribulation. Let's look at the word trouble. Oh, wow. It means a female rival. Sorry, that's for, you know, those, those people that, you know, are so insane is to say false prophet or doing the work of saying, let me help you out with another scripture. The Bible says, I'll type it into Google. Watch, watch this. For anyone that wants to say that I serve Satan, you better watch this. Whatever makes manifest is light. Okay, Ephesians 5.13, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible. Do you know who the light is? Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. So I'm going to use the scriptures. Again, I always come with the scriptures. But everything by light becomes visible. And everything that is illuminated becomes light. Let's look at King. But all things that are re Proved. You know what reproved means? Made obvious. Reproved. I'm proving them out over again. I'm proving to you that that is not a picture of a virgin. It's a dead sheep. I just reproved it. I just used the spirit of the living God and I reproved it. That is an image of the virgin. Let me show you the truth. It's a dead sheep. It's both. Let me reprove this. You see that thing they call the Vatican? They call a, a Christian church. Let me reprove it for you. And it's a big damn snake. See it? There it is. Wearing a crown. And there's his tongue sticking out. So, before you go throwing yourself into the pit, like these other two people just did, you might want to stop and think. All things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Okay? Now, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. John 8, 12. So let's open up John. By the way, get ready because I'm getting ready to give you guys a hurricane tie together to show you how close we are. Okay, so let's see. John 8, 13. Here we go. John 8, 13. Pay attention. John 8, 13. So this is when Jesus did not condemn the woman who had committed adultery, which represents all of us. We all committed adultery against the Lord God. What do you think you're doing here? <clears throat> then Jesus spake again, saying, look at this. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Isn't that funny? I had a sunglass company called Vlad. I wear vampire sunglasses. And the tagline is, come out of the darkness into the light. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Okay, so Jesus is the light of the world. Ephesians says, whatever makes manifest is light. And Jonathan Kleck showing you a big, image of the virgin is actually a serpent i mean is actually a dead sheep and the vatican itself is 
a big damn snake. Okay. So if you want to say I'm doing the work of Satan, you're insane, you're delusional, and you need help, and don't open your mouth. Otherwise, you're going to throw yourself in the pit. Because that's you don't go backwards from claiming one of God's servants that has the Holy Spirit. You don't get to go backwards. There's no going backwards on it. So once you do it, it's done. And it kind of pisses me off because I'm like, you know what? I want to just shake you and say, dude, how stupid are you? You just threw away your key. Instead of stopping and going, wait a minute. All this guy's facts are perfect. They're perfect. They add up perfectly with the scriptures. His revelation gift is perfect with the scriptures. And then you say something as stupid as he's doing the work of Satan. Really? I'm making manifest that which is hidden in the darkness. Okay, now that I got that out and got rid of my angst because I'm so annoyed that people do that. I mean, call me a stupid in the whatever. You can call me names, but don't attribute the gift to Satan because there's no going backwards. You know? And that bothers me because you just threw yourself in the pit for good. It's the only unforgivable sin to attribute the, the power of the Holy Spirit, which is, this is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Here, I'll prove it. Don't believe it's a gift of the Holy Spirit? Here, let me use the Bible again. Here we go. By the way, I'm going to do this hurricane thing in just a minute. But I'm going to use this. 1 Corinthians 12. <clears throat> now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Oh, uh, like that one or like that one? Yes, like those. Wherefore I give I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed. And look, and no man can say that Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Ready? Ready? Jesus is the Lord God come in the flesh. He's my Lord and Savior, and I am a temple of the Holy Spirit now. And the Spirit of God dwells in me. What's it saying? Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So the manifestations that I've been given of the Holy Spirit, which are just profoundly evident in page after page after page of supernatural evidence. Okay? Abundantly obvious. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each man to profit with all. For one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. What do you think you're looking at? Okay, I'm going to apply the Bible to that, that image right there. Okay, you see that image right there? I'm going to apply the Bible to it. So no one can ever argue. Anyone that wants to try and argue, every tongue that rises against me, will be condemned. That is the servant. That is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Every tongue, tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. I'll show it to you. Ready? <clears throat> Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their plans, their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the darkness. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Here you go. Ready? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, regarded as the work of God. It goes back to Genesis 2 and the formation of Adam. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be regarded as the work of the Lord God. There you go. I just turned the virgin upside down, so that's regarded as the work of the Lord God, because I proved the virgin equals the death of the sheep. 
the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. To another, the same spirit is given the gifts of healing. Okay, go look on YouTube. Juan and the spirit laid hands on a guy that was blind in one eye. And then Cat Young's husband laid hands on him. He had an incurable eye problem, laid hands on a guy that had colon cancer, didn't even know he had colon cancer until he came back and told me what happened. How'd you know I had colon cancer? Okay, so miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirits. I have all those guys. The only one I don't have is the interpretation of tongues. Mug, you just said you are doing the work of Satan and not the work of God. This video is absolutely disgusting and satanic to the core. You just bought yourself a ticket to the pit for everlasting torture and eternal punishment. Joe Albanese, Mug, you are so right. This guy is a disgusting, filthy pig. Okay, you just bought yourself a ticket to the pit for all eternity. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want anyone else to be as stupid as these guys are. Call me a name, you know, say something just, you know, rude, whatever. But don't do that. That's so crazy. I mean, really, I'm ratting out Satan. I'm ratting out Satan. I'm ratting out the church that's a big damn snake and... You're crazy enough to say I'm doing the work of Satan. You're insane. You're delusional. I'm showing you Satan's church. You know what? Let's just do this for a minute. You want to do it? Let's just do it. Watch this. Pope singing to Lucifer. Uh, Pope singing to Lucifer. Here we go. Let's move this over a little bit. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so, here we go. Let's see what he's really saying. see okay so here we go this guy's standing inside of a big snake he's standing inside of a big snake which is an upside down cross in front of an altar of a dead sheep which is a big vagina and let's see what he's singing Lucifer, Queen Eshito Kazum, Christus Filius Tus, Qui Regressus Ab Inferis, Humano Generis Serenus Iluxit, Et Tecum Vivit Et Regnat, In Secula Seculorum. Okay, so now let's escape and let's go back one and let's translate all that wonderful singing with that. Now, you're not going to hear the singing, but I believe it's his flame dawning his own creation. What did I tell you about Genesis 1.26? Elohim said, let us create man in our image. So they did create them male and female. Okay, the word image is vain show. Representative figure, especially an idol. Let me show you the Catholic Church here real quick. 
Uh, you mean like this big idol of a dead sheep, which is, you turn it upside down, it's a female reproductive system. Uh, you mean like right there. Yeah, that one. They worship the virgin. Okay, so let's just, let's just be real clear about this. This dude is standing in front of a big vagina, which is a dead sheep singing his flame, donning his own creation and Genesis 126 Genesis 126 and Elohim that's Lucifer said let us make man in our Salem what does it say phantom image illusion Resemblance since a representative figure, especially an idol. Oh, you mean like the big dead sheep in the vagina? Yeah, like that. Vain show. Because the human body is the biggest joke ever made. It's a joke. It's the jokes on you. It's a vain show. You get it? Let's watch. So, his flame dawning his own creation. May I say, oh, Lucifer, who knows no setting. Mm -hmm. Christ your son by the way I took Latin in school not a lot of people take Latin I did Christus filius tus uh, filius means son tus means your so there he is Christ yeah oh there it is right there on the screen I didn't even see it yeah Christus filius tus it means Christ your son I took Latin Okay, who came back from the dead to shed peaceful light to the human race. So they're claiming that Lucifer, Lucifer is the father of Christ. There you go. Okay. So, I'm exposing Satan. So if I'm exposing Satan, that means that the ones who say I'm working for Satan are doomed. I just proved it right in front of you. Look, see? Dead sheep. Dead virgin inside of a giant snake in front of a giant dead sheep right here. Turn it upside down, and the dead sheep's a female reproductive system. Okay, just proved it. I mean, right there, it's proven. It's not arguable at this point. If someone wants to argue with it, you're delusional, which means you've lied to yourself and you believed your own lie because you're about to be judged. And here it is. A human and a slave collar. I'm going to show you a, a scripture. Get ready to have your mind completely blown. Here's a human and a slave collar right here that's from the Vatican. And when you turn it upside down, it becomes a locust coming out of the pit. Because that's what all humans were used for. Right here. This is what every human host body was used to capture the soul or essence of an angel and to transmute his energy into one of these things from the pit. Now I'm going to talk about hurricanes. Ready? Let's talk about hurricanes. Daniel, y'all ready? Here we go. Daniel chapter 12. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. He met Jonathan in an alley, called him to service, gave him supernatural information. Well, he, he got it. He helped him get saved. He prayed to the father and Jonathan got saved. Jonathan was anointed in the alley. And then as soon as he was anointed, Michael looked at Jonathan and said, you say hell Mary. And I looked at him like, why? And he nodded his head. And I, my testimony's on YouTube because the Lord God told me, you have to put your testimony on YouTube. And I didn't want to because I knew how many psychopaths go to YouTube and I would have to deal with them. 
I put my testimony on YouTube and I told everybody, that's right. I met Michael. I prayed our father with him. I was anointed in the alley. Water and light came down on me. And then after I prayed our father, Michael looked at me and said, you say Hail Mary. Even though I looked at him like, why? He looked at me and nodded, do it. And as I began to say the words, I felt life and light leaving my body. That's my testimony. I felt death. That's my testimony. So Michael shall sun up. There shall, for the children of thy people, there shall be a time of trouble. Well, female rival, a female rival. I'll say it again. There shall be time of trouble as never was since there was a nation. A time of a female rival and as there was since there was a nation. Everybody ready? Ready for the word nation? Bam! What does it say? A foreign nation, flight of locusts. You think it's an accident the word flight of locusts is in there? Let me show you why it's in there. Because humans are a host body transmutation circle to get an angel caught in and turn them upside down and turn them to damn locusts from the pit. Try and argue with that. Okay, those that say it's from Satan. Okay, I'm sorry, but you know what? Hopefully no one's as stupid as y'all are. It pisses me off. I don't know why, but it's kind of in some way I feel responsible for someone going into the eternal pit. Because I'm the guy delivering the message, and I'm delivering the truth, and then some fool comes out and drags other people with him, and then they jump on the bandwagon, right, Doc Kid, right, Neftali, right, Shannon Johnson, right, L of the Air, right, all you people that started your stupid websites saying the same damn stupid thing, y'all are insane. Now, I got that out. But nobody else be stupid enough to fall for it. That's a locust coming out of a pit right there. Those are the wings. There's the wing. There's his eye. There's his mandibles. There's his claws. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and they're going to sting people. I get a little bit pissed off sometimes because, you know, the stupidity, the sheer stupidity of saying this is attributed to Satan when you don't know any of the scriptures. It's like, oh my gosh, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whatever makes manifest is light. How can you be so crazy? So like the band Scorpions? You know, like the ones from the pit? Oh wow, alienation. I mean, I can prove this all day long. It's not hard for me. Let's talk about hurricanes. Before we do the hurricane, one more time. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. There shall be a time of female rival, affliction, and tribulation. Okay? The time of the female Fee, F-E, iron, male, you know, iron mixed with miry clay. Female, rival, affliction, tribulation. And as never was since there was a nation, foreign nation, flight of locusts. Okay? For the naysayers. Sorry, that, that vibe I'm giving out is for the naysayers. For all you guys that get it. I would go to bed tonight thanking God, saying thank you so much that you gave me eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart that understands when these other people, all they can do is cast their stones. That's all they can do. Okay, so I want to look at some names of some hurricanes now. I did a video the other day and I showed you that there was a hurricane named Harvey that was going towards Corpus Christi, and the Lord told me to make a video on it, and I did. 
The name Harvey means blazing iron, battle worthy. Okay, so what does trouble mean? Female rival. Okay, and the enemy of God is that iron that mixed with the miry clay, right? Battle ready, blazing iron, like F-E, iron mixed with miry clay, heading towards Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. And we have a new hurricane that's coming named Irma. And oddly enough, Irma means war goddess. Oh, you mean like female rival? Yeah, like female rival. Is that a coincidence? If this stage of the game with James Comey, the liar of all liars, with Hillary Clinton, the liar of all liars, with Barack Hussein Obama, who's the head liar of liars, Loretta Lynch, liar, Susan Rice, liar, James Comey, liar. Mm -hmm. There is no Hillary Clinton investigation. So at this particular point in history right now, we have a perfect storm, don't we? We have the country which is divided. Jesus said any kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. And a house divided will fall. And we are that. We're com this, this is not the United States of America. This is the un-United States of America. So I did a video today because I'm getting the floor done. Tomorrow I should be done with the floor. And... The Lord put it on me to mention the hurricanes. And then today he put it on me to go to the scriptures. Female rival. Okay, so uh, here we go. Okay, y'all see that? That's metallic epoxy. I had to sand out some rough spots in the container because the shoes that you wear to do these have little spikes on them. And because this is a shipping container, the little spikes went in and pulled out little tufts of the MDF that's the floor. So anyway, I sanded them down and here we go again. I'm gonna do it again, but we're almost done. It makes for a really good primer coat. Here, let me show you something. Behind me, you'll see the, the stairs. There they are right there, look at that. And I'm gonna do as I've been instructed. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Those are made out of metal, metal staircase. Constructed and capped the center post with the right side upside down head of that. Because just like the Targum says in the Bible, once you understand it, everybody got caught in chains of darkness. DNA. That's the big mystery. There it is. That's why everything I'm doing in this physical world, even the house I live in, even the house I live in has the name Jesus Christ written on it in Jewish gematria. So because everything I'm doing in my life is an outward manifestation of what the Lord purposed my life for. I have a company called Vampire Sunglasses, or I did. Vampires are cannibalistic, like Cain and Abel, right? One kills the other. Cannibalistic, Cain and Abel, and vampires, huh? I'm always falling out of the sky upside down with fangs on because that's what happened. We all got kicked out because we ended up being a bunch of cannibals. We're all in the cannibalistic system, aren't we? Oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. My name, Jonathan Cleck, means you always given a messenger that rings a bell, gathers the church. That's probably a coincidence. Um, all the information he's given me is beyond supernatural. Uh, so I'm so frustrated with the people that, you know, come out and say false prophet. you got to be delusional. I just showed you the biggest church in the world is a snake. Whatever makes manifest is light. Now, even the house I live in has the name Jesus Christ written on it in Jewish gematria. It's so profound, it's it's almost hard to wrap your brain around it. 
the shipping container, which is a representation of the church of uh, the church of Philadelphia, the New Jerusalem, is being prepared as an outward manifestation of the church leaving. People are like, "What are you going to hide in the container? What are you nuts? It's going to be a dining room." I told everybody, "It's just a dining room. It represents the the wedding feast of the Lamb. It has nothing to do with hiding from what's coming. It's an outward." manifestation of the church that is leaving the new Jerusalem that's going to the wedding supper of the Lamb that will be kept from the hour of testing. That's what this is all about. It's almost finished. And we have another hurricane company, uh, another hurricane coming that means goddess of war. Let's see, blazing iron Blazing iron. You mean like the iron mixed with miry clay? Blazing iron, which is them. Battle worthy, because they're ready for battle. Heading towards Corpus Christi is where it made landfall and began the destruction that it moved up the coast. So it hit Corpus Christi first. And now we have another one coming called Irma, which means goddess of war. Blazing iron, battle ready, heading for Corpus, hit Corpus Christi, hit the body of Christ, and now we have goddess of war. And Daniel 12 says there shall be a time of trouble, female rival. Okay. So here we go, guys. We are getting close. By the way, the hurricane that's coming, Irma, uh, you know, I'll probably do a video on that later, but war goddess. So you take the first hurricane, that means burning iron, battle worthy, heading for the body of Christ. And the next hurricane is called war goddess. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. Here we go. This is the take on metallic epoxy. Here comes the floors will be done today. So. Let's see. Monster Irma is now the strongest Atlantic hurricane on record as Florida preps for catastrophe. Now, is this a heads up from the Lord God to all of us? Well, what do you think? I mean, seriously, what do you think? Sorry about the angst during the video, guys. I'm just so sick of watching complete fools throw themselves into the pit without any hope. Once you, Listen, once you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, once you blaspheme, if someone is operating in gifts of the Holy Spirit and you attribute it to Satan, you just blaspheme the Holy Spirit. It's insane. It, it really bothers me. It's like, are you nuts? You just bought yourself a ticket to eternal damnation. I just can't believe people are that crazy. I mean, you know, say something rude, get it off your chest, you know, call me a couple names, get it over with, you know, but don't attribute it to Satan. That's crazy. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want anyone to go to hell. I mean, I've literally sat and cried over and over again for the people that have made this mistake. And now I'm like, don't be an idiot. Anyway, so, yeah, we have a storm coming. Okay, here's the thing. The container, um, I'm working on the floor tomorrow. So, as long as we're still here, and as long as we still have a ministry, which we do, um, we can always use some help. We've been helping others, and the only way we're able to help others 
is by y'all's benevolence, any, you know, by y'all's open handedness. There's people that need help. There's people that I don't want to talk about. You know, I'm not, I don't want to come out and tell you what we do, who we do it for, but I'm sure there's going to be people that might leave comments here that some of their biggest things in their life were because we were able to help them. If you want to help us, help others, you can PayPal to jk at jonathanclegg.com. If you see some banner that says Hurricane Harvey and has my name associated to it, don't believe it. Only go to PayPal, jk at jonathanclegg.com, or we have a P.O. Box, and it's P.O. Box 91281, San Antonio, Texas. 78209. Guys, until we're out of here, we're not out of here. So we can always use your help refurbishing some of what we passed out or handed out and what we've used to get this container done. It's been, first of all, I want to thank everybody that has participated. It's because of y'all, it's been made possible. So anyway, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't explain the level of frustration I get when I see some Nimrod say, you're doing the work of Satan. It's like, dude, you're insane. You're delusional. Whatever makes manifest is light. Let me ask you a question. Did anybody know what this Scorpions album meant before, um, before uh, you knew the truth? Okay, there's a guy on one side with his eye open, representing the all-seeing eye. There's this guy looking like something's like suspicious, something's going on, he doesn't know what. And here's this guy ruling the system. You Would you like me to show you exactly what that is? That's the same as the Palacio de Gubernare. It's no different. It's no different than the Palacio de Gubernare at the Vatican. Right there. You see right here? Watch. There's the guy on the right. There's the guy on the left. There's the guy ruling the system. Represents Satan. One guy with his eye open. The other guy wondering what's going on. The serpent's tongue going to both. Because they both have mouths. This is the one that's ruling the system. Scorpions. I like the Scorpions album, see? It's no different. How would you ever know what this means? Look what it says. Scorpions, eye to eye. One forward, one backwards. You see the number two in Roman numerals? Like the twin towers. Twins, get it? Cain and Abel. It's Lucifer ruling the system. And they're scorpions from the pit. How would you ever know what that album meant? Here's another one. Let's look at it. Oh, wow. One to the left, one to the right. Scorpion, love it, first sting. How about, oh, death, where is thy sting? How about this one? Scorpion, savage amusement. Looks like a hot chick, which is what the angels were after. But guess what they really get? A nice big sting. Savage amusement. And their amusement was the female host body. Do you understand? Once you know the truth, all things become obvious and visible. Here, let me show you a pair of uh, tights. Zoomies sent me an email. Gee, I wonder why the mouth of the dragon is the crotch. You know what I mean? Gee, I mean, I can do this all day long, folks. Statue of Liberty. The mother of exiles, she's holding a big bug. See, the most dangerous place in the world is between a mother and her children. Is that a kid wearing a flag? Or is that really a bug like that one? I'll tell you what it is. That's a bug. Is that a girl with just a Celtic tattoo? Or is that a bug with the mandibles right at her vagina? 
Let me size it for you. There you go. I'll tell you what it is. It's a bug with the mandibles as the vagina. Okay, so if you don't love the truth, that's okay. You don't have to come here. But I'll tell you what, if I was you, I wouldn't be a complete nimrod and throw any hope of your salvation down the tubes. And the way you're going to do that is call me a false prophet. Call me names if you want. I don't want to see you get thrown in the pit, so don't do it. All right. Anyway, there it is. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's stand in front of the big image of a dead sheep that's a vagina and sing songs to Lucifer how he's dawning his own creation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of absurd, isn't it? There you go. He's standing in front of a big dead sheep, which is a vagina, saying, May I, O Lucifer, who knows no setting, Christ, your Son, who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light to the human race and is alive and reigns forever and ever. And they all say, Amen. That's pathetic. Now, don't forget, they're standing inside of a big snake while they're saying this. They're looking at a big vagina while they're saying this. And they're looking at a big dead sheep while they're saying all this. And the mouth of a big bug is a vagina. Okay, so now I'm going to say this very plainly. Wake the hell up, Christians, alleged Christians. Arise, O oh sleeper, wake up from the dead. You know, like the dead sheep. This is no joke. This is no joke, folks. This is eternal. All right, we got a hurricane coming. War goddess. Heads up. 